to our very own sporting heroine, Judy Spires, who at 5.08 yesterday afternoon rolled over the finishing line of the Lombard RAC rally. As we've seen all this week, it's been a remarkable feat of endurance for Judy and driver Rob Richens because to finish alone was amazing as 178 cars started and only 87 finished. They'll be back here, I hope, any minute if they can get through the fog. So let's look now at what happened to them yesterday, which began with a tense situation at the first service of the day. Troisha, the pin spots at the top, we've got new ones ready? Yeah. yeah got How about a lever bar to get that yeah, troy shaft out, yeah. Yeah. yeah? You know what you're doing? Yeah. yeah. How long? Seven, ten minutes. Yeah. We are now on day five of the rally, the last day. Uh, we are at Whitby, which is the second service. We know we've got a problem. It's the wheel bearing, it's collapsing, we've got to change it. We're tight on time, the lads won't let me down. They say seven to ten minutes, I'm relying on them. We brought Derry down from service one, had him flown down here, especially to help out, so because he knows his way around the car better than anybody else. So now we're all ready to service, we're expecting the car immediately. OK, lads, it's coming. Okay. We've made time here to change the whole hub assembly. Rather than changing the wheel bearing, it's quicker to take the complete hub assembly, brake, drive shaft and lock all out in one and put a new one back in again. And at Whitby, we finally managed to service alongside one of the other maestros who were also collecting for children in need. These guys are incredible. I sometimes wonder why do I have to take my car to the garage and leave it for three days when they do it like this? Well done, that's great. In fact, that only took us for the whole service seven minutes. We are now going to get Derry quickly off to join his normal service crew and we're going to pack up as quickly as possible to get to our next service. Three, two, one, go. Half a mile. Straight on at right junction. We're at I Hookham service, which is the very last official service of the rally. Um, we stopped here because the tyres, we, we couldn't get the proper tyres from Dunlop last night, and we had some specially cut to see whether they would work. In fact, in Dolby, they weren't very good at all. So we've had to sort out the best tyres we've got, put them on, and hope that they're going to be all right. Um, after this, there are 22 miles of stages, 18 of them in Dolby, one stage, and then there's a run back to Harrogate at the finish. Thank you. 
Absolutely fantastic. The servicing worked out better than we could have hoped for. The boys were brilliant. Every one of them chipped in. They all did their bit. They knew what they had to do, and they did it every time without fail. Nobody could have done it better. Everybody has been marvellous. The police, the marshals, just the support that all these people have given. You know, 12 o'clock, the middle of the night, you go through some godforsaken little village, and somebody goes, there they are, there they are, and they've waited up for us. That has been the most exciting thing about it for me, to be part of all this. As you're aware, we've had our little mishaps on the way through. And at the end of the day, though, we're here. I'm more than happy to be here with a fabulous co-driver like I've had all the way through. What more can you ask for? I'm on a high. Rob and Judy. The Lofty Rover, Envy Oh, it's a moment of high emotion here, I can tell you. Here we are, live, standing outside the building, hoping that any second now, something or someone is going to come down that road. They've come such a tremendous long distance that if they were to lose it now and disappoint everybody who's waiting out here, there's nobody left in the office. Here they come, that's the car. 2,000 miles, 22 tyres, two bumpers, one windscreen wiper motor, one windscreen washer pump, one near side wheel hub, one headlight switch, a fuse, 4,000 copper suits. Judy and Rob Richards, and they made it! Yay! Whoa! Wonderful! Go, Rob! Oh! Ah! Oh, Come over here! Whoops! Wonderful! Are you alright? Yes! You've changed! You've changed! <laughs> I said, come round here. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I'm getting really quite camera. emotional now. I'm grateful for that band to get over it. All that time, I know. I've got to ask you, did you get on all right? Who? Both of you. Can't stand him. <laughs> you, you totally lost one another now, haven't you? I mean, you, all that time, in all that car, you're looking at his nose because it's all gone. I'm, I'm, all, I'm overwhelmed with the information. What it says, you get on with one time. another. What most surprised you? Yes, because that was the thing. No, but I mean, all the training for all that race. Yeah. What weren't you ready for? Um, no sleep. I really wasn't prepared for no sleep, and I wasn't prepared... Well, nobody was pre prepared for the snow and the ice that we got. Mm. But the, the no sleep... It was an endurance test more than anything. How did... Compared, um, pull no punches now. I mean, how did she get on as a co-driver? She was absolutely fabulous. We had a little bit of intrepidation before the start, I think, on whether we'd taken on a bit too much mm. to be able to achieve it. And I think Judy, on the first day, was very concerned uh, the effort that I had to put on on each stage, let alone yeah. just getting you to each stage. Uh, but in the end of the day, it all worked out absolutely well, fabulously. We felt for you, you had two minutes. Yeah, we <laughs> felt for you because, I mean, the worst time was obviously in the Kielder Forest where you had this terrible <sighs> business where it ended in disaster. What happened? Basically, all we happened, we came down to uh, a 90 degree left handed bend. Judy called it out in plenty of time and I eased off for it. And as we took it fairly tight on the inside because it was just so sheet ice. Uh, we clipped the inside, just a little bit of unevenness. We went over the top, he's trying to tell me. We went over the top. The, 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 the track was rounded and we just slid we off just the other side in slow motion. How did you get out? With a lot uh, of help from some friends, fantastic. spectators, Fantastic. Suddenly people marshals. came from nowhere. There were three or four guys. Is there anything you'd like to say to these guys? I would like to say, if you're out there watching, thank you oh, just so a much. No, no, we do, you don't have to be out there watching. Come on, chaps, where are you? Come on, Thank you. Thank you. These, these are the lads 
Thank you. Anthony Carr and David Swan, who got you out. This oh. is this is the. If you knew how long it took us to find these lads in Scotland it, it and get them, get them down here. Well, look, it's been it's been great to unite you all together. We know we've got an awful lot of people to thank, not just you two, not just these two, but an incredible size. You can see it. Support team, many of whom came with them along the way and picked up. We wanted to find. That, well, stop telling me what to do. <laughs> I've had a lovely lovely She's week been without me you. All week. <laughs> <laughs> the red lights on that one right. there. They keep changing it around. We wanted a piece of music that yeah. would be fitting for when you came back so we've got this rising up and coming liverpool group called black to play wow. as a wonderful piece of music especially for you called you're a big girl now <laughs> jude you're a big girl now from black <laughs>